thing is um, to prime my skin. I've been using the MAC Prep and Pot. MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base lately. It's actually like one of my favorites. I love this. And they sent it to me and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use it. And since then, I have just been loving this. In the picture that I put on Instagram, I was wearing the uh, Kat Von D Lock Foundation, but that was when I had a lot of self tanner on and it's fading out now. So if I use this, it'd be way too dark and way too warm on me. So I'm actually gonna use um, a different foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. But I did mix it, this foundation, with the Smashbox Primer Finish, Photo Finish Primer Oil, um, just to thin it out. But I'm gonna use oil on this too because I did a picture. I don't really know what oil even does. I just like this because I used it to thin out that foundation, but this one doesn't really need thinning out. So whatever, I'm just putting it on with my finger for right now to get the excess off my finger and then I'm going to go in with a um, stippling brush. I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and buff that into my skin. Keep everything dewy, luminous, natural if you will. Alright, so once you're blended and you're mashed and you blend in with your neck because your neck is tan in your face, because it's broken in your face, you are ready to move on to the next step. For concealer, I mixed together these two. This is the um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 and 15. I would have 20, but I gave it to my friend Kat, so I'm just gonna mix these two shades and um, use this underneath my eye to conceal and to brighten as well. Then to set everywhere that I just put concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Translucent Setting Powder. I adore this setting powder. I think it is so amazing and it just has a really beautiful finish on the skin. I'll show you, look at this. It just mattifies so beautifully and keeps everything nice and bright and like lifted. It's a really amazing powder and it doesn't have flashback, so you know, I'm here for it. I'm just setting this everywhere that I just put after that, I'm going to move on to bronzer, and the bronzer today that I'm using is Le Bronzer by Benefit. And you guys are probably like, oh my god, do I like use these products? Listen, I haven't used this bronzer in like a few months, so I used it in that Instagram picture, and I was like, why did I ever stop using this? Did I love this. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Delay Bronzer a lot lately, and like, no shame, no tea to Too Faced. I love that bronzer, but like, why did I ever stop using this? love I benefit like I'd love to know my highlight does not go with like the color scheme of my eyes and like the rest of it but this is just my favorite highlighter ever and like I just love it so it's um, Gilded Honey by Laura Geller and like no highlighter will just ever compare I mean I have this one which matches a little bit better Charming Pink by Laura Geller but it just makes me look like pale <laughs> and I don't want to look pale like I want to look glowy and like tan all the time so Use this. Did I just hit pan? I did. Get that everywhere. Get it good. Get it going. Get it get it gold. I didn't use, I don't really wear blush as you guys know, but I did put on a little bit of blush. So this is Stereo Rose by MAC. OG if you remember this. And I just put it back here. Not really on my cheeks because I don't really like blush. So I just started my eyes, realized it wasn't recording, so that's really good. But anyway, um, to start in my crease, I'm just using Yogurt Here by MAC. Not called Yogurt Here, it's Yogurt by MAC. It's like this purpley stone gray tone, and I'm just putting this into my crease. Just a very light transition shade for the other eyeshadow to blend into. And yeah, this is MAC, and I'm sure a lot of my haters are gonna drag me through this because MAC is not cruelty free. <laughs> I'm gonna go in to my other MAC palette. These are all custom made. By the way, you can't go in the store and buy these. Uh, you can buy the individual shadows, but like this palette is not available in MAC because I need it. Um, so this is Satin Taupe by MAC, and I'm putting this on a Sigma E25 blending brush. And with this, I'm gonna put this all over my lid and up into my crease. And again, I have done this look on the pods. I'm pretty positive I've done this look before on my channel too. But I mean, you guys really, really did want to see it again. So for everyone that's been like, the tops are all the same. Yeah, they are. Like, 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wear neutral makeup every single day. And once you put that everywhere, then you go back in with a blending brush. This is the 224 by MAC, and I'm just blending this out right here. On this little brush right here, I'm just gonna take satin taupe underneath my eye and smoke that out. Then I'm gonna take a black. This is Raven by NYX. Use this very lightly because it's super pigmented. I'm just putting a little bit of this on the outer corner of my eyes just to deepen up the look a little bit. I know that looks kind of crazy, but don't worry about this. And I am gonna go with this little blending brush that has satin taupe on it and just buff that. Then, for underneath my eyebrows, I've been taking Blanc Type, which is just like a matte cream, and I've been putting that right underneath my brow bone because my crease shades, I've been pretty sloppy lately, and they just tend to get up a little bit too high, so I just do that. My inner corner highlight, like everyone and their mother is asking me, is Sleuth by MAC. Sleuth and Satin Soap just go together like bread and butter. They are just so beautiful together. They have the exact same undertone. They're both a frost. They're just, actually, I don't know if they're both a frost, but they're both frosty, and they just look so beautiful together. I'm gonna go in here with a little bit of Urban Decay Zero Eyeliner, 24-7 Glide. To line my upper lash line, this is Raven again. It's just a black shadow on a smudger brush, and I just throw that on the outer corner just to smudge it out. This is V appropriate because it's like a gray toned purpley look and Justin Bieber's favorite color is purple and I'm gonna wear my purple sports bra tonight. So for mascara, I use these three mascaras every day. You guys always ask me what mascara I use and this is it. So I use Benefit They're Real, Too Faced Better Than Sex. Both of those go on my upper lashes and then I use the Clinique Workout 24 Hour Mascara on my lower lashes because the one is skinnier, so it's easier to get the lower lashes. And just These are also my real eyelashes. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions like, what lashes have I been wearing? I haven't worn lashes since I started using Babe Lash, which is a lash growth serum. To finish off is lips, so I just used a little bit of Nip lipstick by MAC, B-O-G. You use a little bit. Just to lighten my own lips, and then I go in with Turkish Delight by NARS. I know right now it might look a little crazy because my hair is back like this, but let me do my hair, and then you guys will see that it all comes together. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Why am I holding this? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up.